Stay with us. Twenty seventeen. I'm gonna ask you for the theme. Good evening and welcome to the live broadcast of East Jamaica Conference's Camp Meeting and Leaders Summit. We're coming to you live from Kencott Seventh Day Adventist Church. I'm your host, Ran I'm your host, Ashai Grant, and with me is Randall Bailey. Good evening, everyone. <laughs> We're so happy that you could join us today. Our theme for the week, well, the rest of the week, is Transform to Serve Its End Time. And of course, we know as Bible-believing Seventh-day Adventists that indeed it is coming to the end of time. So it is a very timely time for us to come together for this camp meeting. And what will be happening this week? Yes, yes, we will. I... I do love camp meeting because yes. it only happens once per year and sometimes it's the only time you get to see some of your brethren who you don't get to see for the rest of the year. Sure. But Randall, what what do what does um what 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 is camp meeting to you? Well, the truth is, my own experience is that camp meeting is a time for us to come together as a church, well, at the conference level at least, for us to spend some time considering different things that we need to be preparing for as we go through our ministry. Sometimes it's a matter of re-energizing the brethren. Sometimes it's a matter of sharing information that will strengthen us, looking at what we need to do differently as we go into the new year. So it's the end of the year. It's always time for us to look again and to know exactly how we're going to go. Yes. And as Randall said, we continue through the rest of the week. So after tonight, we begin tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. right here. Remember to follow us on Instagram at EJCSDA, also on Twitter, and like our Facebook page, East Jamaica Conference. And we are also streaming on our website, right, Randall? Yes, EJCSDA.com, YouTube all of those places we will continue to carry this program for all of our brethren across Jamaica and of course across the world. At this time we go back to the platform where Pastor Linton Williams is currently speaking. Camp Meeting Music Committee 2017 headed by Sister Cecile Boyd and for the tremendous team for planning our camp music music and you will be very blessed as you go through with us today tomorrow friday and on sabbath sabbath afternoon is going to be rich we're having a special homecoming style voice of prophecy camp music camp meeting singing and you can't afford to miss it and please tell your friends about it and camp meeting is about fellowship, greeting each other, making new friends, and praying with each other. And we sincerely hope that you will enjoy yourselves as we fellowship and as we worship. We have deliberately asked the ASI to join us in camp meeting 2017 because we believe that we must empower our members and our ASI is a team of men and women who own their businesses and who are professionals and we have asked them to come and join us in our seminars and we ask you to be with us so that you can learn in the matter of business how to improve your business and how to better yourself. At this camp meeting, we will be having our health lectures, and uh, we are also letting you know that there is a better way to live. And as you go through camp meeting, you will be told how to live a longer life as we change the way we walk and talk and eat and so forth and so on. Camp, camp meeting, is a place this year where we will be looking into the prophecies. We have been hearing a lot of things these last days, and it is indeed the time of the end, and we will spend our time looking at prophecies so that we will know for sure that we are living in the closing days of Earth history. And so we would like all our members, those who are watching us right across this constituency, and even abroad, we want you to join us as we look at the prophecies during our camp meeting. We would also like you to know that our camp meeting is not just a place of fellowship and worship, but we have taken it to another level. 
where we will be going on the streets tomorrow in the afternoon and on Friday as we pray with our business uh, people in the area, as we meet people and tell them about the love of Jesus and invite them to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. So we would like to join us as we move out into the community and witness for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I also would like to let you know, my friends, that camp meeting is going to be a place where we will be praying because prayer is power, what do you say? And we want all of us to be out as we seek to enrich our lives through prayer. And so on behalf of the administration of East Jamaica Conference, our president, our treasurer, and all others of us who work at the headquarters, I greet you in the precious name of Jesus and ask that you will enjoy yourselves as we enjoy this wonderful period of camp meeting right here at the Kencott Seventh-day Adventist Church. A few announcements. We'll be having a baptism this coming Sabbath right after divine service, and we're asking our candidates to ensure that you have given your names and be ready for the baptism. I also want to remind you that this coming Sunday, we'll be having our leaders' summit, and all our leaders who have been asked to serve uh, next year, and even those who are serving this year, to join us at our leaders' summit this coming uh, Sunday. We will also be having a special treat for our special needs individual next Monday, 5.30 p.m. at the conference office. We would like to spread this word around as we celebrate the goodness of God and as we recognize these individuals who are special needs. May God bless us all as we continue to fellowship and worship right here in camp meeting. God bless us all as we prepare ourselves for the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. At this time, I invite our president, Pastor Eric Nathan, to come and greet you in the name of Jesus. Pastor Nathan. Amen. Very happy to be here this evening. And I want to let you know that you are at the right place. And my job is to bring greetings. I want to make mention of our friends in cyberspace to our members streaming from here in the different churches. I want to greet all our members here in the live audience at the Kencott Seventh-day Adventist Church. I bring you greetings on behalf of the, the team at headquarters. Our executive secretary just gave greetings. We have our treasurer, Elder Don Main Giles, and our number of departmental directors who are on board as we seek to make Camp Meeting 2017 a special event. I want to greet you on behalf of all our workers at headquarters, for pastors, and approximately 60,000 members scattered across Kingston and St. Andrew, Zone 4, St. Thomas. I believe that it is very fitting that once per year, we have some extra vitamins added to the diet that we have. And each year, we come together at camp meeting to boost up the, the spiritual energy of the membership of our church. So camp meeting for me is a time for worship. Spiritual connection is a time for fellowship and inspiration. Camp meeting is a time for spiritual rejuvenation. It's a time when we seek to recharge our spiritual batteries. Camp meeting is a time when we come together for spiritual fellowship. And I wish this afternoon that as we come together for worship, that the spirit of the living God will fall upon us. And when we leave from here, we will be fully transformed for service because the signs around us, we are telling us that the end is near. May God bless you and may Camp Meeting 2017 be a time that we'll never, ever forget. May we pray for the success and the spiritual blessings that Camp Meeting 2017 will give to you. God bless you and enjoy. 
Africa meeting 2017. Thank you. We are always blessed by having our leaders from headquarters coming to share special moments with us. Tonight, we are privileged to have with us the Executive Secretary for Jamaica Union, Pastor Merrick Walker, one we know, one we love, and I'm sure that he will bring greetings on behalf of the team from Jamaica Union. Pastor Merrick Walker, your members here at Kencott. Cap meeting 2017. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everybody. You know, East Conference, when compared with the other conferences, is a conference of life and uh, animation and the spirit of the Lord. So come on now. This is camp meeting. Good evening, everybody. All right, I am delight, very delighted to be here to share with you in this great convocation. The church is very special, and the church at this time of Earth's history must always be aware of its mission. And here we are toward the end of the year to gain momentum and synergy as we truly face the challenges in this part of the vineyard. I greet you with great respect. I respect my leaders and salutation to the president, Pastor Eric Nathan, and uh, the secretary. I don't see the lovely princess, but she'll be here, I know, in a little while. It's Pastor Linton Williams, the executive secretary, and Sister Williams, all in the house. And uh, Elder Giles is smiling as usual. That means that things are going well for the young. I greet the directors of this great conference, the pastors and their wives and other workers and members of the constituency. I greet you warmly with love to the overflow. And I welcome my friend, Zuki, to Jamaica land we love. We met many years ago in Colombia, and it was a bond at first sight. And from then, I knew that we would have to get you here to blaze the trail for Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I have much to say in one minute. Firstly, on behalf of the union, Pastor Everett Brown, the president, Pastor Bancroft, Barwise, the treasurer, and the rest of the team, we want you to know that we are very appreciative of East Jamaica Conference. And I want you to take that very seriously. A few months ago, when the Eastern Caribbean had its crisis in relation to all those hurricanes, we extended the opportunity to the Jamaica fields to give a helping hand. And I am pleased to tell you that we were able to collect millions of dollars for our brothers and sisters 
in the Eastern Caribbean, and we want to say a big thank you to East Jamaica Conference tonight. And I think you should say amen because the church is moving on. Secondly, I want to also say that we are a union, and the church is united as never before. And when we have our challenge in a particular union in IAD to the extent that they were dropping workers, they could not afford it, and we made an appeal to the fields, all the five conferences in Jamaica, you responded. And today, that field is going very well. And the work is growing in leaps and bounds. Let it be that you know that the union appreciates your offering and your faithfulness. We want to quickly congratulate the East Jamaica Conference, Dr. Nathan, for the energy and the synergy and the cooperation that we have had from this field. The youth con congressery that you just had, it is being talked about that the young people are moving onward and upward for Jesus Christ. We want to congratulate you for the development of Philip Field. We want to congratulate you for the structure of the CWD and what it is doing for the schools and the churches. We want to congratulate you for the involvement of the laity. And the union really is desirous, as we look to 2018, that we allow and we deploy the laity even more. It is a critique that the laity is not being utilized as it ought to be. And we are saying that as a union as a, and as a conference, let us in 2018, as we build up the, the kingdom of God, utilize the lady in mission. What do you say? All right. And uh, lastly, I say to you that based on the changes in the world, unprecedented challenges face the church and uh, of necessity in convoca convocation the church must not only look at new strategies and new ideas but there must be a resurgence of unity unite unite build up the work let there be a resurgence of energy as we see the day approaching. And so let it be that as we settle over these few days and we listen to these messages, brothers and sisters, I appeal to you, let us humble ourselves, let us keep the focus, and let us be committed and converted that when the Lord comes, you will hear, well done. Tonight, right across the Union territory, we begin many camp meetings. In the Northeast, we have Dr. Sazunduddin Hossein, Dean of the School of Religion and Theology, University of Southern Caribbean. Then we have in the central, Dr. Patrick Rutherford. Do you know him? And the theme is extending the healing ministry of Jesus. In the West, a few days from now, we'll have Dr. Leslie Pollard, President Oakwood University. And in uh, the North, we have David uh, Beckles, former president of East Caribbean conference. So all around, the trumpet is having the certain sound. We welcome you, Dr. Floyd, Senator, and we know that you are taking the message to Parliament. 
Let us take it everywhere we are because there is a clarion call. Jesus is soon to come. East Jamaica Conference, arise and shine because his coming is even at the door. From the Jamaica Union Conference, go forward and preach and live. Jesus is soon to come. this time we will stand as we sing our welcome song welcome to the family the family of god welcome to the family and feed upon his word bring your mother your father your son your daughter sister and brother welcome to the family the family of god let's all stand as we greet each other as we sing together Welcome to the family, the family of God. Welcome to the family and feed upon his word. Bring your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, sister and brother. Welcome to the family, it's the family of God. Come inside, come and join the family, the family of God. Come and join the family. Upon his word, bring your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, sister, and brother. Come and join the family, it's the family of God. Stay inside, stay inside the family, the family of God. Stay inside the family and feed upon his word. Bring your mother, your father, your son, your daughter, sister, and brother. Mother. 